Good morning everyone, I'm just ready to go down to the conference centre for VMworld Day 2. Um, we've got the general session this morning which I'm really looking forward to. We've got Bear Girls on the stage so I'm really looking forward to hearing what he's going to say, I'm not sure what to expect from that and I'm just looking forward to any other announcements that are going to be made. We just finished the general session at VMworld Day 2. It was really great to see Joe Bagley and Ray Farrell amongst others doing some demonstrations on stage. They showed us um, some demonstrations on NSX, Bitnami, um, Tanzu Mission Control and it was great to see all those products coming to life. Another great part of the session was Bear Grylls on stage who was talking about resilience and how we need to have resilience in everything we do. He talked about his four F's, failure, fear, fire and faith and how we need to have all of those and how grit is built into us to tell us never to give up. It was a really great session, really inspiring and I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. So just come out of the um, annual VMUG Leader lunch here at VMworld. It's a good opportunity to catch up with the other VMUG leaders from around the globe. And we also had Sandra Poonin and Joe Bagley on stage having a very honest conversation with us in a Q&A format. And throughout the Q&A the they highlighted the importance of Project Hanzu for VMware, allowing them to bring a lot of technologies together. And throughout the conference and the Leader lunch, they highlighted the importance of vSphere admins coming up to speak for Kubernetes. The VMUG Leader Lunch is always a great opportunity for me and one of my favourite parts of VMworld as it gives us an opportunity to hear from those inspirational leaders of VMware in a really intimate setting. Really looking forward to the party tonight and the rest of the conference. This afternoon I attended the security keynote and it was really interesting because they did a live hack on stage. They had a red team and a blue team and the red team tried to infiltrate the environment. They had app defence in monitor mode and this showed them every stage that the hacker went through. It was really great because it gave them visibility but when they put it in block and alert mode they were able to stop the hacker from infiltrating anything. This wasn't because they knew what ex exploits were going to be used, it was because they knew what a state of good looked like and they were able to stop anything getting there. It was really great to see that, it was a really interesting way to show it and I'm looking forward to the party tonight.